Well, good day YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Rhinos Collections. We've done a few of these before, uh, we'll do some more now. Um, we will look at different things in the beer collection, we'll, we'll look at some of my bottles, we'll look at my bottle caps, we'll look at bottle openers, glassware, just things that people have asked me about. Now, movies have been asked about forever, now I have thousands of movies in this house, uh, I, I am a movie guy, I love my movies, I never smoked, I never did drugs, I spent my money on movies and video games and some beer and stuff. And so I guess we'll look at the uh, T. We'll look at the TV series, and the TV series also has mini series, documentaries, and like uh, comedy videos in those shelves. I have two shelves of movie series. Now, please remember that I am a married man. I'm not saying that because somebody's going to want me. Because nobody wants me. Not even my wife wants me. But because there are uh, things on some of these shelves that I'm not interested in at all. They're my wife's. And vice versa, there's some stuff on these shelves that she's not interested at all. They're mine. So let's start, okay? Um, let's start over here. First and foremost, we have Stargate Atlantis, all the seasons of Stargate Atlantis. I actually didn't mind Stargate Atlantis. I actually liked it a lot better than I liked the original Stargate, to be honest with you. Stargate Universe was probably my favorite Stargate. I'm sad that it only lasted two seasons because it was just getting going. It was nice. It was dark. It was great. Band of Brothers. Great, great series. Uh, Red Dwarf. You know, English comedy. In the Flesh. Now, this is a BBC, and you can't go wrong with BBC stuff, but In the Flesh is a BBC zombie movie, and if you haven't watched it, you really should. Uh, they find a way to bring the zombies back to life, but they're not fully back. Uh, and it's a lot of, there's a lot of racism. Well, it's a, it's a lot of race, race, prejudice, all that in it, and fear and paranoia. It's, it's all in there. Defiance. Um, some of these... I only bought the first seasons of. Uh, sometimes on Amazon you can find the first season of something for like ten dollars. So when I do that, I usually buy it to check what it's like and to see if I like it or not, and then to know if I'm going to go on with it. So Defiance, I bought. I'll end up watching the next seasons on uh, probably on the Amazon Android box or something. But um, Defiance, I bought. She's super hot. That's about it. It's it's an okay show. It kind of reminds me of sort of like Firefly. Uh, Falling Skies. I actually liked this show. Uh, the hardest part about this show was uh, taking Noah Wiley there as a action star. The 100. It's a teen show, but it actually had its moments. It's uh, a lot of, a lot of basically every sci-fi trope all mixed together. Z Nation. People hated this show. Uh, you know what? I didn't hate it. It was kind of. It's kind of stupid, but it's it's amusing enough. Atlantis. I bought this knowing it was going to be fairly... It's a BBC, and I, like I said, you usually can't go wrong with BBC, but this was like a Hercules and Xena dumbed down even more. It was... Hercules is actually in it. It's just a big fat guy. Um, and then last on this shelf is this guy here, which is Space Above and Beyond, and uh, most people probably don't even know this. It was a one-season series. It actually had a lot of promise. I hate that so many good shows get canceled after the first season um, TV, man. Now, here is uh, just little documentaries and other such things. We'll go through that in a second. An Inconvenient Truth. Uh, this was actually bought for me because I like watching this stuff and then uh, looking at all of it up and everything, figuring out what I believe and what I don't afterwards. But I like to see the arguments they put forward. Beer Wars. Anyone that's into beer really should watch the Beer Wars. Anyone that's into beer should also watch uh, Crafting a Nation, which is actually really good for anyone that's even thinking of starting up a brewery, because there's a brewery in this that's like, every time they go to it, they're, they've sunk more money in, they don't ever seem to be opening, that type of stuff. Uh, this blank one is um, a copy of Straight Up, the issue of alcohol in Ontario, and if any of you have not seen that as well, you really should. I'm actually in that one. Metallica, Some Kind of Monster, Roger and Me from uh, Michael Moore. This is back when Michael Moore was doing mo bo mostly like against uh, against corporation stuff. It was actually really what good stuff. Sicko, another Michael Moore movie. Uh, Spinal Tap, a mockumentary. Religulous, which is a Bill Mayer thing. You know, Outlander, yeah, that's not mine, I can tell you that. But within the first five minutes, there's somebody giving head 
He's eating, well, it's uh, coming lingus. He's eating out his wife pretty quickly. The Corporation, Bowling for Columbine, ECW, Bloodsport, Andre the Giant. Uh, what's this, Beyond the Mat? No. Yeah, that's Beyond the Mat. So anyone that's into wrestling and hasn't seen that, you really need to see it. Dennis Leary, uh, sorry, Dennis Murphy, uh, the, uh, <laughs> I'm looking at the Dennis Leary over here, uh, Eddie Murphy, Delirious, Eddie Murphy Raw, Fahrenheit 9-11, I also had Fahrenheit 9-11, which was the other side's arguments, and uh, I don't know where that went, uh, Dennis Leary, No Cure for Cancer, Dane Cook, um, Brewmasters, which never lasted long enough, uh, which reminded me that I think Sam is a really, in, really intelligent guy, but I also uh, hate him completely in the way he talks. Uh, lastly on the shelf, How Beer Saved the World, which is a good little show. And Revolution, which I bought for $10 on Amazon for the first season, and I'll never watch the rest of them because I just didn't care. Um, all the Spartacuses. Rome, an amazing show that I wish lasted longer. I'm sad that it got canceled. Game of Thrones, The Lex, if you guys haven't watched The Lex, I actually enjoyed The Lex, but from like season two on, season one, first off, the girl wasn't that, well, season three is where the really hot girl comes in, but uh, season one, just not really, not really it, that's when they're still in the Shadow Universe, and then they move on, um, the original Battlestar Galactica, the remade Battlestar Galactica, uh, I did have a copy of Caprica here too. Is it here? Uh, it's Razor. Uh, whatever. Come down some more. Under the Dome. I'll probably watch the rest of Under the Dome um, via the Android Box bullshit from Penn and Teller. The Walking Dead. Farscape. Now there's a great show. Black Sails. If you guys are into pirates, Black Sails is a show that really needs to be watched too. Uh, Firefly. Uh, most people should know what Firefly is, and if you don't, I feel sorry for you. And what's this guy here in the corner? Oh, Galactica 1980. My least favorite of the uh, Galactica the shows. And it was the uh, last season of the original. Then we have all Doctor Who here. Um... This is, like, a serial from each doctor is on those. Then there is, I have basically all just the modern ones other than those. Um, Billy Piper and Karen Gillian, probably my two favorite of the, uh, of the modern day companions. And actually, my two favorite modern day doctors are the two that haven't been in it very long. Uh, Chris here from the very original one. I wish he had done it longer. And this man right here. Sorry for the shakiness. I, and this thing here is a uh, little video, an adventure in space and time. It's uh, actually a really good thing. It has the same serial from the very first season. But it also has a movie, and the movie's telling the story of how it all started. So that's pretty cool. Let's put that back in there now. Uh, let's go over to the other side. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Old cartoons, first off. Sorry, guys. Um, Super Mario, Fantastic Four, Darkwing Duck, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the complete series of My Pet Monster, Cops, Ghost... Okay, this Ghostbusters is a Ghostbusters people argue with me does not exist. Uh, this is Filmation's Ghostbusters. And... Uh, fuck off, guys. Yeah, the uh, cartoons are packed a little tight. Filmation's Ghostbusters. People used to argue with me when I talked about goo guns and stuff and a gorilla that I was on crack. So when I saw this, I got excited. I'm like, yeah! See, I can prove it exists. Avengers of Super Mario Brothers 3. Uh, Transformers, the entire series of the original. Zelda, the first season of G.I. Joe. Uh, first season of Gargoyles, Inspector Gadget. Uh, Undergrads, the complete series, which was a really good one. Uh, the Mario Show. The Tick. Smurfs. Conan. 
Captain Planet and the Planeteers. This is all uh, stuff from my childhood that I basically bought to watch with my son. My daughter likes some of them too, so I mean that's always a, a plus, right? Some of them she likes, some of them she doesn't. Now remember when I got married? Oh, the Charmed. Uh, what else we have? Supernatural. I actually liked the first two seasons of that. Third Watch. Gibson, uh, Gilmore Girls, that's not me. The first two seasons of Third Watch. I don't think there was any more put on DVD. That's the reason I don't have any more. Um, moving on. Babylon 5. One of my favorite uh, sci-fi shows. Takes a lot to get into for some reason. For some people. The first se uh, season of Sanctuary. Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Probably my favorite favorite of the Star Trek series. Uh, Crusade, which was a spin-off of Babylon 5, which only lasted one season. Over here, Cleopatra 2525, Star Hunter, uh, Jack of All Trades, which is a beautiful, beautiful <laughs> TV series with uh, Bruce Campbell, and Mini-Me is uh, Napoleon, a reboot. Seasons 1, 2, 3, and 4, Jackass, Camelot, the miniseries, which was really good, Viva La Bam, you know what, I liked Viva La Bam a little bit, uh, I fast-forwarded through a lot of it, but the pranks were cool, Rescue Me, the first two seasons, Heroes, I really liked Heroes on the first season, and then uh, season 2.0, 2 because they split that season up because of the writer's strike, is basically where I lost interest and didn't buy anymore, All of Lost, Full House, those aren't mine, another Viva La Bam, uh, scrubs. I actually quite enjoyed Scrubs. So there's all the Scrubs. Except for the very last season when they're, uh, when they're doctors. Sorry, it's shaking so much I'm holding it kind of weird. Earth 2, which was another series that died early. It was only one season. Uh, it was, it was okay. Amazing videos, Tales from the Crypt. Uh, Xena. Once Upon a Time, I can tell you those aren't mine. Grey's Anatomy, I can tell you those aren't mine. Grey's Anatomy. Uh, oh. Okay, Robot Chickens. Sinbad, really good one. Uh, Happy Tree Friends. If you guys have not seen Happy Tree Friends, you're uh, missing out. Basically, a bunch of cute little animals killing each other in uh, horrible, horrible fashions. Uh, Chainsaw Sally Show. Uh, another show that is not well known but is fun to watch. Uh, this is a Japanese robot show. Uh, another one that not many people know about and uh, is <laughs> really fun. Uh, Trailer Park Boys. I do own a lot more Trailer Park Boys. I lent them out. Uh, Star Trek The Next Generation. And I'm missing season three of this, so I need to pick up season three at some point. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then uh, the four seasons of Star Trek Enterprise. The only Star Trek series I, I don't own are the original and Voyager. I'm watching Voyager right now on the Android box. Don't really care to own it. Um, drop down to the next shelf. We have a bunch of Top Gears. 17, 16, 10, 11, 12, 13, so I need 14 and 15, good to note, uh, some Babylon 5 stuff, uh, Space, uh, Space Rangers, which is a space, like, cop show, it wasn't very good, it only lasted one season two, I can tell you there was a reason why for that one, uh, Vikings, two seasons of Vikings, <sighs> Legend of the Seeker, that actually was not a horrible show. Uh, it was cheesy, but it wasn't horrible. Then we have all the original Stargate stuff, Stargate SG-1. I bought these for like $5 each at fucking Walmart on a, on a Boxing Day sale. So I watched them. Some of them are... It, gets, it actually speeds up about Season 5. Up until Season 5, it just pisses me off. We have more movies. Oh, there's my Caprica. I knew I had a Caprica. Uh, Family Guy stuff. Carnival, which is sad that it only lasted two seasons. It was really uh, a good show. Pillars of the Earth. Which, uh... 
if you watch this, you would probably also like like the Brogas and all that. Uh, interesting little show. Ugh. And what are these guys? Oh, there's other Battlestar Galactic stuff, just like Razor and uh, Blood and Chrome. And the plan. So, nothing special really there. And that's just the uh, pilot for Caprica. I don't have any of the others. Uh, over here, we have all the Dexters. Oz, which was a great show. Um, all the Breaking Bads, which was a great show. Hmm, call the midwife. Some more top gears, but those ones, uh, top gear 21 and the and 20 and the worst car in the history of the world segment. Terra Nova, which actually had some promise. It was cancelled after one season two. Call the midwife. Dollhouse season one and two. Another show that has 